I'm here with Annabelle from Honda, and she's going to tell us about the NGV, Natural Gas Vehicle Civic. Well, Dan, thanks for stopping by today. Um, this is the natural gas Honda Civic. It's actually the world's cleanest internal combustion engine vehicle. Um, that rating we actually received from the Environmental Protection Agency 10 years ago. We're actually moving into our 11th model year of this vehicle. We build it on the assembly line in Ohio from the ground up as a natural gas vehicle. What's the advantage of driving a natural gas vehicle? Well, we call it the three E's. The first E is environment, and as I was saying, this is the world's cleanest internal combustion engine vehicle. It's also the greenest vehicle in the United States and has been for five years. But also with natural gas, which is the same sort of gas that comes to your home and lights the burners in your kitchen or maybe your water heater, that natural gas burns so cleanly that you actually eliminate the need for oil refineries, you eliminate the, the need for underground storage tanks for gasoline, you're eliminating a lot of environmental contamination that you would have with gasoline. Now, the second E, that first E is environment, second E is energy. Because it's natural gas and it's not it derived from oil and gasoline, you're eliminating our need to buy a lot of the oil that we get from faraway places like the Middle East. Uh, natural gas is domestically abundant. We have a large supply in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana. We've got a large supply in the Rocky Mountains. We get most of our natural gas from Canada because it's less expensive that way. But one of the really good pieces of news about natural gas is that it's renewable now. And you can get it from landfills and dairy farms. So that methane gas that comes off the landfills right. or the dairy farms, right. you can clean it up and actually put it into a vehicle and use it as a transportation fuel. So again, first E is environment, second E is energy, third E is economics. So what we have here today is a natural gas home refueling appliance. And you can actually fuel your car right in your garage. You've turned your garage so into you a fueling station. In your garage. Yes, you would. Yes, absolutely, Dan. And would, a, would a, you need a plumber or who would come and install it? Yeah, there's certified installers that actually do the installation. And the way fill works is it taps into your currently existing gas line. If you have that natural gas going to your home, mm -hmm. taps into that gas line, plugs into an electrical outlet, pulls the natural gas out of that line, compresses it in the unit, and fuels the car overnight. And generally when you fuel at home, the fuel is going to be between a dollar and a dollar twenty-five a gasoline gallon equivalent. So that 30 B in economics, this is a great way to really save money for you as you uh, drive your vehicle and fuel it. So the mileage, is the mileage equivalent in the NGV Civic to the, to the conventional Civic? Yes, what they do with natural gas is you take, generally you buy your natural gas in therms, but what all the uh, suppliers of natural gas have done is that they have done, uh, they sell the fuel in gasoline gallon equivalents. So um, the, the car gets 24 miles to the gasoline gallon equivalent in the city, 36 on the highway. So when we talk about a dollar to a dollar 25, a gasoline gallon equivalent, that is an actual equivalent to a gallon of gasoline. So if gasoline is at $4 a gallon, which unfortunately we're starting to see those prices, that same equivalency that you get for $4 if it was gasoline, it's $1.25 if you use fill. So the, a, a consumer's fuel costs could be cut in half, roughly? Absolutely, Dan, yes. And, and how much does fill cost? Fill is approximately $4,000. There is a $1,000 federal tax credit, and if you're eligible as a federal taxpayer, you can get that credit. And in certain parts of the country, there may be incentives all the way up to $2,000 as rebates on the unit. And those rebates are really in place because this is a clean air vehicle, and natural gas being an ab abundant fuel here in the United States, these are all incentives that the government wants to provide you to do the right thing and drive an environmental vehicle. So, so let's see how difficult it is to, to fill up. Absolutely. It's generally very easy. Again, it taps into your gas line, compresses the fuel, and fuels the car overnight. It's a really quick disconnect. This nozzle's been made uh, to be very simple. You just put it near your vehicle's fuel fill and just push it right in like that, and now you're fueling. Um, you push the start button when you want the fuel to begin to flow. And you can, it either stops automatically when the car is full, or you can stop it yourself by pushing the red button. So it's made for overnight fills. Imagine the ability to be able to drive your car all day. When you come home, hook up the nozzle, and your vehicle is full when you wake up the next morning.